Hey, what is going on YouTube? My name is James and welcome back to my last video um, for a while, not forever. So I want to explain what's been happening, where I've been for so long and what's going on. But before I do that quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing the Tudor Black Bay 36 and I'm recording this via a webcam connected up to my computer. And I'm in my room um, in my new place. And the reason I'm doing this, for one, my phone doesn't seem to want to transfer files over to my computer right now. And I cannot be bothered to fix it and find out why. And two, I might as well just do it like this now it's all set up. Um, but let's get into it. So it's been about three months, I believe now, or two months since I have made a YouTube video on this channel. The reason being... I was in the process of moving, as a lot of you know. So I moved from Leicester to High Wycombe and then moved from High Wycombe um, to here, where I am now, which is Bracknell. And the reason I moved was for the job. So for those of you that don't know, I work for Beaver Brooks, the jewellers. Um, and it's gone great so far. It's been going absolutely great to the point where promotion recently happened and I, I got it and um, I'm working hard for the next one. And things are just going really, really well in my life at the moment. But I haven't had the time and also the motivation to make these YouTube videos. And I want to explain why and the situation and what will change. So time, uh, let's go over that first. Obviously with the move happening, there just wasn't enough time. I was moving, I was working a lot and there just wasn't enough time to sit down, get a setup and work on a video for you guys. Um, and then to talk about the motivation. So every time I would go to record and believe me over these two to three months, I have got videos on my computer ready to be uploaded, but I chose not to because I just did not feel happy with them. And the reason being, everything just didn't seem right. I'd make a video and it just didn't feel right. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you guys have made content before, any sort of content, blogs, um, anything, and you get to that point where it just doesn't feel right, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that happened to me with, with making these YouTube videos. It just didn't feel right. Um, the, the setup just didn't feel right. And for those of you that don't know, I've had to move into a room share because I'm living just outside of London. Outside of London. It's super expensive and it just makes a lot more sense. Um, so financially, because me and Nadine are going to move back in together once we get all that figured out finance wise. Um, and she's living in London. There's, there's a lot's happened in life. And for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, you probably won't know. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you probably see because I post all the time on there. So make sure you follow me there. So yeah, just the setup hasn't felt right with this room share. There's always people here. There's always noise being made. The room I'm in is, is big enough to live. It's more than big enough to live. I have quite a nice room, to be honest, but just space to make videos, to get a proper nice setup, to get some nice shots, you know, to, to really get deep into these watch videos just hasn't felt right. And I feel like I was providing... <sighs> I wasn't providing content that was up to my liking. You know, I wasn't putting in enough effort and it just didn't feel right. So I decided not to make any videos. And every time I tried, it just still didn't feel right. So that is why I haven't made a video in two to three months. It just hasn't felt right. And I'm sorry if that's not a good enough explanation to some of you guys out there. I know some of you have, have really enjoyed my videos and to you, it doesn't matter. They're, they're fine. And I've had I've heard that a lot because I spoke to a few of you guys. But to me, they don't feel right. And being the content creator, I want them to feel right. So the reason I said there's no more videos for now and not forever is because I truly do believe I'll be back to video making. I've done video making and videos on YouTube and live streaming on Twitch since I was about 13. Uh, I started with gameplay, went on to vlogs and now this. And this is the first thing that's really stuck. Um, it stuck to me as a person because watches I truly love to the point where I've made it my career. And if that doesn't speak to the passion still being there, I don't know what will. It's just the passion for the videos is no longer there at this moment. I believe it will come back. And I believe once I get moved in back with Nadine, which will hopefully be next year, and I've got our own proper place, I can have a proper setup again. I feel like the motivation will come back and the the just sort of that, that, that yeah, I guess motivation. I guess that is the word. Uh, the motivation to make videos will come back. So what have I been doing in the meantime? Uh, have I just been working? No, far from it. I have been working a lot, but I've also been working on my own stuff. So for those of you that haven't been following me on Instagram, you won't know that this has happened, but I have my proper website now. It's kibblewatches.co.uk. Um, why did I start this website? Well, I felt like I needed somewhere because during this entire time, I've been buying and selling watches still. You know, I sold the Grand Seikos and Nomos. I've sold parts of my own private collection. I have sold a lot of watches really. Um, and I was doing it through forums, through Instagram and through things like that, which was fine. But I wanted a website. I wanted somewhere where I could point people toward and say, this is everything I've got for sale all in one place. 
So I created it and I created it on itskibblewatches.co.uk. Um, but I also wanted to provide a blog. And it sounds strange, someone who's going to be selling watches but also blogging about watches. It seems like there could be a clash of or a conflict of interest there. So based on that, uh, we will be doing reviews and we have done reviews on the, the blog already. Um, but they a review of a watch I have for sale won't go out until after the watch is sold. Um, that way no one can claim that I'm saying good things because I'm selling it and if I say bad things I say bad things I'll be honest so there won't be reviews of watches out that are for sale until after it's sold which I think is fair um, but the blog is on the website so when you go to iskibblewatches.co.uk there's a blog section so why a blog well I started writing I started writing you know just reviews and getting them written and I enjoyed the writing up of a review you know to, to then put it into words you know to then do a video I started enjoying the written side of it more than the actual creation of the video. So I was like, maybe I should try blogging, you know, so that way I stay within this community and I still provide my content just via a written form as opposed to video form. Because I know quite a few of you guys out there really sort of um, respect my opinion and want to hear my thoughts. So th I wanted to provide that. So that's why I created the blog um, and I've done a few blog posts why it's Gibble watches is one of them and then there's been a review of my Black Bay 36 on there which I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a video review. Sorry about that but there's a written review now so go check it out. But not only is it me on there there's also my dad so my dad is doing written blogs and also another member of um, our watch community here. Um, he's known on Instagram as watch underscore this underscore space 82, um, but he's more known to me as Chris. Uh, he's a very good friend and he also writes for the blog. So there's three writers and we aim to put a new blog out every other day. Um, so definitely go check that out. And not only that, I wanted to provide something a bit different because there's a lot of people selling watches. There's a lot of people buying watches, but there's not really many people that I know of doing what I decided to offer. And it's what I've been offering for a while now, just not publicly. It's the ability to sell through me as opposed to me buying it and me selling it. So when traditionally, if you have a watch to sell, what are the forms you'd sell it? You'd go on eBay, you'd go on the forums and you'd sell it that way or you'd sell it to a dealer who would then sell it on. That's usually the way it goes. I wanted to provide something for the people that don't have the time um, or, or the know-how or even the effort. Some people just can't be bothered. To, to post on eBay, to go through the forums, to have to deal one on one with a, with someone who a potential buyer, to have to you know talk to all these people who uh, end up letting you down on the sale, and someone who doesn't want to do all that, but doesn't want to get the lowball offer that they'll get if they send it over to Chrono Twenty Four or um, or Watchfinder, where if you just go on Watchfinder, you give them a call and say I've got this watch for sale, they'll give you like seventy percent off retail and half of why it would sell second hand anyway. Um, I wanted to provide someone with a, an alter, alternative option to that, and that was selling through me. So that's something that I'm definitely working hard on with the website. Um, go check it out. There's a section dedicated to it called Sell Through Me. And in there, I've got a testimonial from Andy, and I'm getting another one right now from another person who I'm selling for. Um, I've got an Oris Aquis up for sale from this guy and quite a few other watches, so definitely go check them out. But that's what I wanted to provide. So in that Sell Through Me section, it goes into detail about how it works. And if you are interested, make sure you throw me an email. And uh, you can sell your watches through me. But that is what I'm trying to focus on right now. I'm trying to build up my actual career with Beaver Brooks the Jewelers, um, which obviously sell watches as well. My actual career there. But also my, my side hustle. I'm really trying to create that into something as well. You know, something where I, I gain a little bit of income on the side, but also do what I love pretty much 24-7. I go to work 40 hours a week at least and do what I love there, sell watches and jewelry. I come home and I sell watches and talk about watches and do stuff like that 24 seven. So the passion's still there and I think that's quite obvious. It's just the passion for YouTube has died away, I'm afraid guys, but I reckon it'll be back. So I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry there's going to be no longer any more videos, but hopefully you guys understand. And also, hopefully you'll move over to iskibblewatches.co.uk. You'll read the blog over there and you'll become an active member. Yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. And I will see you all in the next one, I guess. Take care. Peace out.